Hey guys, I'm Kate Spring, your virtual dating and relationship tutor. Have you ever fallen for someone who's already in a relationship? If you have, don't worry, you're not alone. I personally have, and I know many people who have as well. This is a super tricky position to find yourself in. It's like a more complicated version of the friend zone, but with a third party participant. Anyways, I'm here to help you with what to do if she says she has a boyfriend. Just before we get started, if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you personally as soon as I can. All right, I'm sure you already feel how uncomfortable the situation is and there are really two camps here. One is that you just met her and two, she is already your friend who has a boyfriend. For the latter, I would say that it is best to move on, but now you're thinking, what if you have a friendship with her? That's a different story and what I can help you with, so keep watching. If you're just friends with a girl that you like, I wanna say try and move on, keeping her as a friend. However, if your feelings are strong enough, you wanna be proactive about it and not have any regrets. I understand the need to at least try to let her know you have feelings for her before you can fathom moving on. Chances are, if you're friends with her and you like her, you will try to be the person she can call on whenever she needs. If this is you, you're her security blanket. This allows her to date other men, but still keep you there for all the good advice and the positive male attention. This is the friend zone, which is not a terrible place to be in. This just means that you're, you're a value to her, but she doesn't see herself dating you yet. Being in the friend zone doesn't suck. It means she trusts you and probably doesn't want to complicate or lose you as a friend by dating you. No matter how strong your feelings are, you aren't going to change her mind overnight. Regardless if you like her current boyfriend or not, it's not your job to tell her why she shouldn't date him. Here, the key is patience. Watch and be there for her. Love takes on many forms and one of the most valuable is actually friendship. Do not, whatever you do, do not get drunk and talk poorly about her current boyfriend. When girls hear this, it makes them not want to confide in you anymore and will put her in protection mode and make her defend her boyfriend to you. Ultimately, girls need to make their own decisions and relationships. They don't want to be the one told who is good enough for them. They need to learn it themselves. No matter how loud you yell it, she may never hear it, or she'll only hear it when she finally is ready to hear it and move on. If you want to learn more about how to attract women, head over to katespring.com free and pick up a copy of my attraction building handbook where you'll learn how to win women over through text messaging and body language. That's katespring.com free. And to make your life easier, I've posted the link in the description below. Okay, there are, however, some ways that you could change your mind or help her along the decision-making process. That is, if you are always available to her, you need to stop. At this point, she sees you as a friend, not as someone who is boyfriend material. If you wanna subtly let her know that you're not her surrogate boyfriend, you need to create some distance from her. You're the boyfriend without the benefits. You basically pick up the pieces that her boyfriend fails to. But this is a good position to be in because it means a couple things. One, it means that she values you and your opinion, but at the same time, you're not the person she's attracted to if you're so available to her. If you start to live your life without her, not always being there to comfort her when she's sad, to hang out whenever she wants, or to immediately answer her phone calls, she'll probably start to realize that she needs to make a decision. Once you start to live your life without her, maybe she will have to reconsider who she could live without, either you or her boyfriend. Another bonus of this is if your emotions happen to be lust, the chances are in the right environment, they can be pretty fleeting. Taking yourself out from under her wing and living for yourself might actually allow you to go out and meet someone else. You don't wanna be the security blanket. If these feelings are inevitable and some time has passed and you just cannot quit her, then you have to tell her. But please, please don't do it wasted on a night out and get all weepy. This won't work for your benefit. And don't tell her with the expectation that she will leave her boyfriend for you. You don't want to be the guy that snakes another guy's girl. I feel like you guys have some guy's unspoken rule about this thing. Your reason for telling her should be for closure. All right, that's all for today. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay up to date with my latest videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.